hello buddy i'm back with another video if you're new to my channel then welcome if you'd like to follow me on instagram and tiktok then please do in today's video i'm going to be doing a review and the tv show i'm going to be reviewing is it's around right time pretty but this is season two so i'll be talking about spoilers so if you so if you haven't seen the show and you'd like to please get this video then once you've seen the show you can you are you can come back but if you don't care about spoilers and keep on watching I'll also be mentioning season one so if you haven't seen season one either then please also get this video um i have notes on this phone so if you see me up and down that is why i'm going to talk about i'm going to talk about each character and then i'll say my thoughts on each episode and then i'll say my final thoughts so please keep in mind this is my opinion so if you have a different opinion than me that's fine but just be respectful um, so if I stop coughing or anything, then I'm sorry, um, I've been coughing a lot, especially since I've been up, but I'm better now, and it's a very sunny day, so I thought, why not? But with all that said, the first character I'll be talking about is Belly, so with Belly, I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about her as a character, then I'll talk about the whole Team Jeremiah, Team Conrad situation, so as a character, I think she's okay. She has a lot of growing up to do and I was hoping that she would get a bit more growth throughout the season. There's a little bit of that, but to be honest, a lot of the times I was just shaking my head. I feel like she's has a whole she has a lot she has a long way to go. And I do understand that she's very naive and she's figuring things out, which is totally understandable. But yeah, that's mostly all I have to say about Betty. So now I'm going to talk about Team Conrad. When I was watching the show, especially in the first season, I kept on saying to myself, what does she see in this man? I did not understand, I was all confused, and in a way I still don't understand, but when I was watching the flash, when I was seeing, when I watched the flashbacks, so when the flashbacks was on, I was like, okay, I kind of get it, but at the same time, I still don't get it. I understand that Betty clearly wants a cake, she wants to have a cake and eat it too. There was times I was thinking they were perfect for each other, because the way they were acting sometimes, like, they're very annoying, and they're both very toxic so I can see why they're very attractive to each other. I really know that Team Conrad is endgame but the reason why I'm not Team Conrad is because it has been shown many times that he's that he's a big red flag. Like he's giving me it's giving me Jade and Beck energy and I saw this video when people were like oh if when this person was like if you're Team Conrad you're also Team Jacob and I can see where that person's come from. But at the same time, I'm Team Jacob through most of the Twilight franchise, but I'm not Team Conrad, so I disagree with the person at the same time. Now I'm going to talk about Team Jeremiah. So, some, something that I kept on seeing is people are saying, "How can you be Team? How can you be? <laughs> how can you be Team Jeremiah because of what happened in the third book?" Some people are saying that he cheated. Some people are saying that it was a break. I don't know which one it is and I might be a bit biased because I've not read the books but even if I do read the books I don't think it's going to change my mind. I am aware that Jeremiah is probably not going to be the end game of the show which is sad because it would because even though Conrad will probably be end game it it would be fun while it lasts so team Jeremiah will be fun while it lasts but I know that that's very unlikely that um very unlikely that Jeremiah would be M game. Sometimes I feel like I'm Team Jeremiah for me, not for Belly, because he deserves way better than her. And Belly and I th and I think deep down, like even though she's not admitting it now, I think she knows that she still that her feelings for Conrad isn't gone. But she's trying to push it away. I feel I feel like she still knows that they're still there. Now I'm going to talk about now that I've talked about Team Jeremiah and Team Conrad, I'm going to talk about Jeremiah and Conrad, but as captors. So starting with Conrad, so with Conrad, I find it hard to root for him sometimes because the way he treated a lot of people around him, including Benny, including Benny. And yes, I understand that he's going through a lot with the panic attacks, which is sad to watch, and I feel a lot of empathy towards him. But having to see Benny kissing Jeremiah and one of the times that I felt empathy for him is when he saw Betty kissing Jeremiah on his car and she was wearing his hoodie 
I would feel annoyed too, but at the same time, who's saying that Jeremiah needs to grow up? I think to myself, wait a minute, you of all people telling Jeremiah to grow up? That doesn't really make sense. When Jeremiah acts more grown up than you, even though Jeremiah is younger than you, Conrad needs therapy and and I understand he lost his mum and this is why he's acting the way he's acting, but it doesn't justify why he's acting this way. It explains it, but it doesn't justify it. Like, he needs a lot of help and right now he's not in that, that, um, he's not in that right, he's not in the right situation to be even being in a relationship because he'd be like, oh, I like you, but I don't like you, I like you, I don't like you. It's just, it's just, I don't see it. I, I don't see this, the whole team Conrad. Um, he is funny, like, he does make me laugh. Um, the whole scene with him in the car when he was saying, oh, he's a better kisser, I can see a lot of people like, oh, he's, pe he's petty, he's in his reputation era, which is the, if you don't know, reputation is an album by Taylor Swift. I can see it, like, I can see why people like him, like, I like, as a character, I do like him, but I just feel like he needs a lot of help, and right now he shouldn't be in a relationship, but he obviously does love Belly, like, that's very clear, but he's just, I don't know, he's just annoying to me sometimes. Um, so, the next character I'm going to talk about is Jeremiah. Let me start off by saying that I do feel very bad for Jeremiah. He loves Belly so much, so when he heard about how she kissed Conrad and people were saying that he was guilt tripping her in that scene, and I disagree. He was making her see his perspective, like making her understand what she did was wrong and holding her accountable. Jeremiah had to go through finding out how his mom had cancer and having to be there for her every day and his best friend was nowhere to be found. I for Conrad so much, like when he says about how he should go to Conrad, how she should go to Conrad and tell and he should tell her how he feels. So when he went to Conrad and he's like, oh, you should tell Benny how you feel. He was so scared of getting hurt again because he thought he was going to get rejected when Benny said that Conrad told her that he loved her, told, told her that he loves her. He just wanted Belly to be happy, even if it's not with him, which shows how much he loves her. And I just want, I just don't want to see him get hurt again. I did love the end of the season because it didn't feel like a portrayal. She chose him, and yes, it's clear that Jeremiah is the safe option, but it's sad that he's the second option, so he deserves way better. Um, the next character I'll talk about is Stephen. So when talking about Stephen, I saw a video when the person said that Stephen was annoying in the first season because the way he was with Benny and I can see where the person is coming from but that's just how a lot of siblings act so I don't think he was that bad in that season it's sad that him and I think it's Shayla broke up because I thought they were really good together something I didn't like about Steven in this season is that he's in Jeremiah's friendship because they were so close in the first season in this season, and in this season it was almost non-existent I do understand that both of them have been going through a lot, but I hope this, I hope this is something that is addressed in the next season. I feel like we should, we almost got a bonding scene between them because Stephen invited Jeremiah to play video games, but he said he wanted to watch Belly's game. I like him and Tyler together, and I'm happy for them, but I do, and I do like how he was there for Conrad. When he was having his panic attack and that was very sweet of him. The next character I'm going to be talking about is Taylor. So with Taylor I do really like her as a character and how she's there for Benny and telling her how Jeremiah is the better option and not to go there um, and not to go there and saying about Conrad and I like how she's the voice of reason and I do really appreciate that. Something I didn't like is how it was clear that she and Taylor, he, she and she and Stephen were endgame, but it was a bit cringy to me because I kept on thinking she has a boyfriend. I do understand that a lot of people hate Milo and I'm not a big fan of him either, especially after that diss track, but two wrongs don't make a right. When she was talking in the final about how she really likes Stephen, she really likes Stephen, and the fact that she cares so much about him is what worries her. Like that was very realistic to me. I don't think she was given as much I don't think she was given as much I don't think I liked her as much in this season as I did in the, in the last season 
but I still think she's one of my favourites, so that's all I have to say about Tyrus. The next character I talk about is Milo, so with Milo I don't have much to say about him. Do I like him and Taylor together? Yes, I think they were, do I think they were cute? I thought they were okay. My opinion on him was as long as Taylor, or Tyler, I think, as long as Taylor is happy then I'm happy for her because she did seem like she was into him more at the beginning. He was coming up a bit too strong for my liking and do we even need to talk about that this track? I said earlier that I didn't agree with what Taylor did or Tyler did, I'm pretty sure it was Taylor. Um, but what Milo, Milo was very petty and the only good thing about the diss track was that it had a good beat, so that's it. The next character I talk about is Lowell, Lowen, Lowen, or Lowell? I'm gonna say Lowen, I think it's Lowen. So with her, I f we see that she has a book that she wrote about after Susanna passed away. Seeing that flashback with her and Susanna, and how she was like, how she was really tired, but it was very really hard on her. I liked Susanna when they're together because she was tr trying to be very strong. But I liked that scene with her and Benny because she was trying to be very strong for everybody else, so she didn't show her emotions, and she needed that to move to help her to move forward. The part when she slapped Benny, I was very surprised. I was very shocked because I was like, oh my goodness, but at the same time, I'm glad she said sorry and they're able to help each other. I'm glad that we were, she was able to talk to Aunt Julia to help the, to help save the house. She could have been, she could, she could be making more friends, so I'm happy for her. The scene when she's reading the book and saying it felt weird to say was, so saying that Susanna was her best friend. I completely understand that and that was a very emotional scene. I really like her and I'm happy that she's getting help for her grief. I wish we got more of her in the season. So the next character I'm going to talk about is Susanna. Um, originally I was going to talk about Susanna because she's not really in the season. We just get flashbacks of her because she did pass away. I'm still going to talk about her and I think she's a really good character. I like to see more of her scenes and seeing that scene with her and Lol. When they're on, when they're talking about me, that Lowell is like crying, that was very sad. And also, that scene when it's her and Benny in the bedroom, and basically, and the song Bigger Than the Bigger Than the Whole Star by Taylor Swift comes on. Like, that was a very emotional scene because they say she says to Benny that she loves her, and Benny says, Oh, you back, and you see, you can see Benny crying. It was very good and getting to see the scenes with her and Jeremiah, even though a lot of the scenes were very sad when talking about Susanna, I'm very glad that we got to see more of her and she is one of my favourite characters from season one and I love her friendship with Lowell. Um, I know some people and I'm also in the category of a lot of people that were feeling like lesbian vibe between them and I can feel that, I felt that as well but if they're just good friends, then that's fine. But I did feel that as well. Like even especially when the dad was saying in the first season, how oh, you loved him, how you loved Susanna. So maybe she loved him more than a friend, but I don't know. But yeah, I just really like her as a character. She's one of my favorites. Um. So the next character I'm going to talk about is Aunt Julia. So with Aunt Julia, she was a bit annoying at times, but I'm glad that we got more growth. We got growth, um, that we got some growth about her character throughout the season where she says she's not really the person that, that they are making her seem like. I do understand where she's come from because she couldn't afford the house. So yes, there was other reasons to go with it, but she was hurt as well. So I do understand, but as a character, I'm middle about her. So I don't hate her, but I don't like her at the same time. I think she's okay. So it's not like she was, so it's not like she was trying to be malicious or anything. She couldn't afford the house. Yes, there was other stuff as well, but it was mainly that she couldn't afford it. Because after Susanna passed, because the house belonged to her and Susanna, so they shared it. So Susanna passed away, she couldn't afford to keep it. So that was the main reason. So when she's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not the bad aunt or whatever. She said, I'm not, the, I'm not the person you're making me sound to be. So I do get where she's coming from. So the next character I'm talking about is Sky. Um, when I want to start off with saying that Sky goes by they, them pronouns. So that's what I'll be saying. So if you hear me saying them, that's why. 
So Miss Guy, I really do like them. They were very funny and it's nice to see that they're part of the group now. Same with Aunt Julia, we don't know that much about them. It's sad that they don't really want to hang out with Sky to get more to get more information on Aunt Julia. And I don't know if Sky has figured it out, but maybe they will figure it out in the future. They seem like a fun person and when they said about Susanna was a perfect person and kept on eating the ice cream. So this is when Sky was saying it to Conrad. I was like, damn, like okay, like Sky's not wrong. Like all humans, no human is perfect. We all have a force. So, Sky, we could be getting a relationship between Sky and Conrad, between Sky and Cameron. So when she was, when Sky was like, "I'm Team Cam Cameron," that was nice, and I think they could be good together. And they both seem like they know. It, so I think that's a perfect fit. The next character I'll be talking about is Cam Cameron. So with Cam Cameron, I was very happy when he came on the screen. I'm glad it wasn't very awkward, like him being there after what happened with Benny in the last season. I saw that person who plays him was surprised to get the call. They were surprised that they got the call because they were like, oh, they, they thought they were getting fired. So they were like, oh, they want me back. So that made him very happy. I heard he isn't in the second or third book. I like him as Guy together, so I think that's what he deserves. It's because he's a really good character and he was hurt really badly so I think they could be good together. That's all the characters so now I'm going to talk about episodes. So episode one it was very interesting seeing what happened after we left off. I feel sad for Jeremiah because he was honest when he was speaking facts about oh saying that oh you being with me um like was a distraction or something I don't know something along those lines. It was a good episode and the ending was very shocking. I'm liking Stephen way more this season so far. Episode 2, it was very good. I'm glad that Jeremiah was able to see how he's feeling. It was so very sad at the end because we found out that the house was being sold. Episode 3, it was good. I like seeing more of what happened at the funeral because I was kind of confused. When Benny said about, I'm sorry about what happened at the funeral, I was like, wait, what? What happened at the funeral? You can see that Conrad wasn't there for her, which is sad but understandable at the same time and he was pushing her away. I mean, I really like Jeremiah and Connor together and how they really care about each other. It was very sad. The ending was very sad and I'm excited for the next part. Episode 4, it was very really sad. I seeing them hang out with Sky was nice. Oh, episode 4, it was very really sweet. Um, seeing them hang out with Sky. Or Sky. Sky was nice. Seeing, them, seeing more flashbacks and seeing Stephen being there for Conrad was really nice. The ending was good but shocking. Episode 5, the episode was really good. I was really sad to see Jeremiah's side. I do have hope that they could be together, but I don't want him to get hurt. Tyler and Stephen was very cute together, and it's obvious they have feelings for each other, but Tyler has a boyfriend, so she needs to break that off first. They said they saw the house, which is sad, and it's nice seeing more scenes with Cam Cameron, and I see a vibe with him and Sky. Episode 6, I thought the episode was good. I like seeing Sky being more in the group now, and seeing how um, Sky seeing how they never had their first kiss. Jeremiah and Benny almost kissed. Stephen and Tyler are very good together. The dance is a bit cringy, but I'm glad that Tyler has broken off with her boyfriend. I feel like Jeremiah was in the. I feel like Jeremiah. I feel like Jeremiah was in the wrong to say about Conrad, and about the whole how Jeremiah, how Conrad begged for Con, how Conrad begged for Jeremiah's blessing. And saying that in front of Benny. Ellie's voice, Ellie, uh, Benny voice, Benny voice smelled her mum, so I'm very excited to see what happens in the next episode. Episode 7, it was really good. I'm glad that Laura was able to convince Julia not to sell the house, and the dad has so, and the dad has said sorry to the boys about being a bad dad and a bad husband. I don't like him for what he did, so he cheated on Susanna when she was, and this is when she had like just when she was doing chemo i'm pretty sure i'm glad that Laura was able to help her and jeremiah said that he's not going to let conrad give up on his dream of stanford just for him and give up his dream for on stanford conrad and betty being friends i don't know how i feel about that jeremiah and betty kissed which i hate about but at the same time i don't want him to get hurt again episode eight i thought it was really good the song choices were very good and using bigger than the house guy and x style I was very emotional 
Some comments I wrote down, it was very hard, and I'm glad that Henry Jeremiah was able to talk. A Jeremiah told him how he f how he should tell Belly how he feels, so Conrad should tell Belly how he feels. She, she still chose Jeremiah, which was good, and I'm way more happier about this case than in the last one, because she had the option to go back to Conrad, but she still didn't. So, yay for me, and um, yay for Team Jeremiah. The way that Jeremiah, the way that Jeremiah didn't want to get hurt again, so that was so sad. But I'm happy for him. I also like Stephen. I also like Steve and Tyler and Taylor together. They were really sweet. I seen the flashback with Susanna was sad, but it was a good episode. So now I'm gonna say my overall thoughts. I thought the season was very sad, but it was still a good one. Um, I like the growth of a lot of the characters. I thought it was very funny. I think I still preferred the first season, but this one was good as well, and I liked the ending. So I'm very excited for the next season, it's already been confirmed, so I'm going to see when it comes out. Um, with season one, I don't know if I'm still going to do a review or not, because I was kind of going back and forth if I should do this season first or the last season. But if I do season one, I'll see, but probably not. But maybe I'll do season three. I see some people saying they might not watch season three because they know that Conrad is going to be Endgame, so a lot of Team Jeremiah's are like, I'm not going to watch season 3. I think I'm still going to watch it out of curiosity, but I'll see. But, yeah. Okay, so that's the end of my video. Um, if I forgot anything, I'm sorry. With the books, I do want to read it, but that'll probably be in the future. And some people are saying the, sh the books are better, I don't know. Some people are saying the shows are better, some people are saying the books are get better. I don't know, but I'll see. But that's all the characters and that's all the thoughts I ever said. If I've forgotten anything then I'm sorry. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another post. And I hope you guys have a see you next time. Bye!